Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, lead debate on a bill for concurrence from the House of Representatives. The Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria Act Repeal and Reenactment Bill 2023 was read for the first time on 7th August 2023. This bill seeks to strengthen the legal and institutional framework for the operation, maintenance, and control of subsidiaries and ordinance factories for the manufacture, storage, and disposal of ordinance and ancillary stores and material and, and regulate in local production of weapons and other equipment to meet the requirement of the Nigeria Armed Forces and other security agencies. Mr. President, my respective colleagues, this is a straightforward and not controversial bill, which has gone through the necessary legislative process in the House of Representatives and was passed by the Ninth Senate. I therefore urge you all to support the second reading of this bill as we, as we refer it to the Committee of the Oil for clause by clause consideration. I thank you, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues. Yes. Any contribution? Yes, this is Senator Onaiwo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. My name is uh, Senator Mohamed Ogoshi Onao. I represent Nasarawa South. This bill, as the majority leader said, is an important bill. Very, very important for the protection of lives and property of our citizens. However, I want to plead that since 7th of August, over two months now when this bill was read for the first time, this Senate is just receiving a 19-page document which requires us to read, understand each of the clauses before we pass. Any time we pass any bill in this Senate, it is my wish, and I believe the sincere wish of every senator seated here or in this chamber, that that bill stands the test of time. And so I would want to request that the Senate President stands this bill to be read clause by clause on the next legislative day to enable each member of this Senate to read properly and understand. Because if I just read this uh, bill and pass it, my conscience will haunt me if anything goes wrong. Thank you very much. This is Mr. I can see that your conscience is really troubling you today. <laughs> this is Mr. Senator Ome. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is uh, Senator Victor Ome, OFR. I represent the people of Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, this Nigerian Defense Industrial Corporation is a very important corporation in this country. I recall that in 2018, Senator Kiari, now Minister for Agriculture, introduced a similar, a similar bill in the Senate. And uh, we discussed it very exhaustively that the NBIC is supposed to be alive to its responsibilities
for its establishment a long time ago. This corporation ought to be producing for us now weapons of defense and other armaments the country will need to become a strong and virile nation. If they had been doing their work, Mr. President, they would have uh, been able to support us with what we use to fight insecurity in Nigeria. The NDIC has been sleeping over its mandate. And now that the House of Representatives has worked on a way of reinvigorating the corporation to ensure that it will deliver on its core mandates, uh, it is important that we support the House of Reps and give them the necessary concurrence. But like Senator Onawo stated in his contribution, this clause-by-clause -clause consideration will be hampered by shortness of time to appreciate what they have done in the House of Reps to enable us for an obtained time put the NDIC to its proper frame and focus so that it can help this country in developing our own weapons and armaments. This is security that's dotting the country everywhere. If NDIC had been doing their job, I'm sure that uh, we would have been able to have things to use to fight insecurity. I also contributed previously that the type of thing we're expecting from NDIC will be missiles. They didn't develop missiles. They can do that. So if it is possible, President, to give us more time to look at the arrangement of these clauses and see if there's anything we can do to make it uh, more effective. Very good. But if we can go on today, I'm still ready to. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes. Senator Falahonsi. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, my name is Senator Francis Abdi Fadansi, representing the good people of Osunist. Yes. Um, Defense Industry of Nigeria was uh, established 63, 1963, along with Defense Industry of India, China, and Brazil, and including uh, Pakistan. Today, those people are in the moon. They are, they are manufacturing aircraft weapons. T today, Nigeria defense industry uh, fell into uh, 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 almost oblivion of manufacturing uh, furnitures before President uh, Obasanjo came on board. Now, they have started manufacturing little by little. Now that we are having some defense problems, security serious problems, we need to visit that place, sit down the Minister of Defense, the defense chiefs, and let us know what will be what are their problems that they are still crawling for almost uh, 50 years ago. It is a very important uh, motion that we have to look at this instead of importing ordinary uh, bullets from South Africa. This Mr. President, let us be serious about this defense industry so that at least they can match with others in the world. Thank you. Distinguished colleagues, uh, this bill is for concurrence. I believe strongly that the exhaustive job has been done uh, by the House of Representatives during the debate. And it is the practice of the Senate uh, that we, we, we ensure reciprocity because as we also pass our bills here we go through all due processes and when we send it to them 
They don't need to send it to too much scrutiny. They just go into class by class to see what we have done. So I will put the question. Those in favor that this bill be read, these bills be read for a second time, say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, the Senate Senators, a bill for an act to repeal the Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria Act, Cap D4, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, and reenact the Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria Bill 2023 to operate, maintain, and control subsidiaries and ordnance factories for the manufacture, storage, and disposal of ordnance and ancillary stores and materials provide a comprehensive framework for the regulation of the manufacture, distribution, storage, and disposal of defense articles, support research activities in defense-related fields, and for related matters 2023. Second reading. Distinguished colleagues, a bill for an act to repeal the Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria Act Cap V for Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2024. 2004. And reenact the Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria Bill, 2023, to operate, maintain, and control subsidiaries and ordnance factories for the manufacture, storage, and disposal of ordnance and ancillary stores and materials provide a comprehensive framework for the regulation of the manufacture, distribution, storage, and disposal of defense articles, support research activities in defense-related fields, and for related matters, 2023. Second reading taken. <laughs> 